Okay, hello there, and welcome to this channel. This is chapter three, and we are about to get us a really nice war horse, one of the single best horses in the game. Now, John Marston has been sent over here to Calaga Hall to talk to the Greys about something, and Arthur is going to join him. Can I help you there? Sure. Those supposed to be my business partners here. They arranged a meeting, I believe, about some horses. A fellow with a scar and a Mexican. Yes, sir. Out by the stables. Thank you. Have a wonderful day now. And have you met my partner, Arthur Morgan? No. I met your son, the sheriff. Okay. Mr. Gray here was saying how he had problems with a family. A family of degenerates. Yeah, we're here to see about some horses. And so you ride to see this uh, yeah, well, family yeah. of degenerates' horses. With You're sent over there the back way. Yeah, You're going to talk your way in the gate and go to the stables. A significant investment in some stables down here. I think that's the stables just up ahead. Heads down. And that's the stables. You can tell by the, these Head posts on the front. back. And Hitch up there. All I'm going to do is run in the back and jump in the window. Now, I heard about this method on one of my videos. One of my viewers, Nicola Bailey, suggested doing it this way, so I'm just going to try to do it this way. Now, the truck of mine is in this window. And, look, I don't know why I didn't jump in the window. I just wanted to look in the other windows, and when I got over here, I decided I'll just jump in this window. That was a mistake. because all these horses are agitated. And I jumped over the stable wall here. You can see the stable foreman out there. He doesn't care. So you're good in here. But you can't get in the stall like this. You could probably go around to the right and jump over the stable walls. But at this point, I just decided I'm just gonna go back out the window I came in and go back in the proper window. I'm gonna take a health tonic before I get back in the stall with this mean son of a bitch, though. Right, so this is our Turkomines window. You can tell it's got that lovely dark bay coat. And you basically just start feeding the horse. Use uh, the weapon wheel to access the horse food and just start feeding it. It doesn't matter what you feed it. I think I'm gonna have to feed this horse about 10 times here. And he won't always take the food because he's agitated. So you just have to keep an eye on what's going on to the right there. If you see the whatever food you fed him is listed there, that means you ate it. And there will be a, a bonding icon blip to the right. So you're bonding the horse up towards level one. And that's all we're going to do. We're just going to keep feeding it. And the way it all worked out, I like this method better than the other way of doing this where you feed the horse once you get to Clement's Cove. Because at Clement's Cove, there's always this fear of like, I'm going to mess this up somehow and the horse is going to get away. But where's the horse going to go here? You know, he's in the stall. Nobody's trying to get him. And you're free to do this. And you know... I'm not even sure I would call this a glitch. It's not a glitch. You're free to feed horses in the game, right? And this is a horse in the game. He's in a stable. You, you just got in here and fed him. It's an, I would say it's an exploit, but maybe not a glitch. He's going to have bad teeth after all this sugar. Okay, he's bonded, but if you look at the mini-map, there's no horse icon on the map, so feed him one more time. Very important. You see, now you see there's a horse icon on the map. This means the game recognizes this horse as your secondary horse. This is your official secondary horse. And then you just go and play 
the rest of the mission like the game tells you to. Basically, you're just breaking these horses out of the stable and running away with them. The, the greys at Caliga Hall want you to do this because they have a feud going with the Braithwaites and it's just a way for them to hurt the Braithwaites. And they promised that, you know, you're gonna make a lot of money off these horses. And this mission opens up the horse fence where you where you'll be able to sell stolen horses. Listen, why don't you get out of here? You scarface and your greaser buddy. Whoa! I don't like officials. We ain't officials. We're connoisseurs looking to do some breedings. Come on now, partner. And then you break these horses out, you ride to Clemens Cove. But what I want to draw your attention to is the mini map, you see? You can see the flashing white horse icon, that's the Turkoman. So you know you're good, that's your horse. Even though John's leading it, that's still your horse. So you don't have anything to worry about here. And um, you all group up here, and then you ride down to near the river or the lake, meet up with Clay Davies and sell these horses. What you boys want? Heard you was... Uh... Heard you pay good prices for horses. Oh, we'll buy more or less anything, Pop. That so? Sure, Pop. I'm Clay Davies. That's my brother Clive. We're twins. John, Arthur, Javier. Here, take it or leave it. Uh-huh. And then there's a cutscene directly afterwards. You don't have any control. You just go straight to this cutscene. It's very short, Imagine though. We was gonna be wonderfully rich. At the end of it, we felt like prize idiots. And so now you're back at camp, and you just go and get on your horse and ride back to Clemens Cove. And if you look on your uh, mini map, the horse is represented now as a gray horse icon because it's out of whistling range. But we're just gonna ride towards Clemens Cove. And when the horse icon turns white, you can just whistle for it, and it will come to you. Ah. Sure, Are you nuts? I don't like no disrespect. And you can run straight to the stable from here. But I'll show you something really quick. Um, a lot of people's first instinct is put a saddle on the horse. That's my first instinct. But you can't saddle up this horse. It won't take a saddle. I don't know why. It just won't. So, if you want to ride this horse now, you'll have to do it bareback. I'm going to put the saddle back on my Dutch warm blood. But we just want to go to the stable now, and it doesn't matter whether you ride the Turkoman or the Dutch warm blood. Uh, your main horse. Yep, yep. You just whistle for it, it'll follow you. And you're gonna to ride to the stable and put it in your stable. I recommend going to the Scarlet Meadow stable because it's the closest one. And yeah, if you have too many horses, you'll have to sell one in order to keep your truck on. But then you just stable it up, saddle it up. And it's your horse. Now this is a great horse. This is one of the single best horses in the game. It has 10 health, which is maximum health. Yeah. It has 9 speed, which is the second highest speed level. Yeah. It has 8 stamina, which is outstanding. This is an agile horse. It's hard to kill. It's fun to ride. And it's like I said, it's just such a quality horse. When you're riding it, you just never want to get off. And it's beautiful. You know, it might, the coat might not jump out and grab you at first, but the more you ride it, the more you realize, man, what a beautiful horse. Just look at it. That is a gorgeous horse. And it's so much fun to ride. And you should definitely give this horse a try, if you can, in Chapter 3. And yeah, that's about it. This is how to get a truck of mine for free in Chapter 3. Thanks for watching.